Hey, what's up guys? It's Henry Neal and you're welcome to another video. Today, we're going to be unboxing the Samsung Galaxy A8 Plus. It's a almost flagship device from Samsung and um, we're also going to be doing a brief review on this device. And to take on this review with me, I'll be featuring Fisayo Fosudo, who is an incredible tech reviewer based here in Nigeria. In case you haven't heard of Fisayo, I'll be leaving links to his channel down below so you get to visit his channel and please subscribe to his channel. So without further ado, in Fisayo's voice, let's get started. So straight up, we're starting with the unboxing of the Samsung Galaxy A8 Plus. It comes in a brilliant white box, which looks absolutely beautiful. I love the way Samsung has done this, but unfortunately, I don't think the retail versions are gonna come this way. Opening the box, we are presented with a little compartment which houses the SIM ejector tool. This compartment also houses the quick start guide and also your warranty card for every information that you would need um, to get going. This box also includes a TPU clear case, which is a brilliant touch by Samsung. And then we have the black version of the Samsung Galaxy A8, which looks absolutely beautiful. We have a nine volt output fast charger, and we also have a USB type C to a USB type A cable included in the box. We have the standard Samsung headphones included in the box as well. And the final item in the box is a micro USB to USB type C adapter. Taking out the plastic to the back and the front of the Samsung Galaxy A8 Plus reveals a very beautiful black, glossy, shiny, very fingerprint prone device. But I must say that Samsung has really done a very good job in building this device. It looks absolutely gorgeous and it feels very premium in the hand. Um, straight up to the front of the device, we got a six inch Super AMOLED full HD plus um, display that comes at 410 PPI. Uh, we've also got to the front of the um, device, we've got a dual camera set up. One of the camera comes at eight megapixel and the other camera comes at 16 megapixel. Both of these cameras come with F1.9 apertures. It comes with a 16 megapixel um, camera at the rear of this device, which also takes really very decent um, photos. I mean, I was impressed when I took a couple of photos with um, the camera. To the top of the device, we've got a, a slot that houses a micro SD card and also one SIM card as well. To the left side of the device, we've got our volume rocker buttons and we've also got a SIM slot. To the right side, we've got the external speaker grills and we've also got the power button. And to the bottom of the device, we have a USB type C charging port and we also have our 3.5 millimeter headphone port as well. We've also got the microphone cut out at the bottom of the device for making calls. It's also good to note that the Samsung Galaxy A8 Plus comes with IP68 water resistant rating, meaning that you can put this device in up to 1.5 meter of water and it wouldn't have any issues for up to 30 minutes. I mean, I think that's a good addition to phones like this and Samsung is really doing a good job in adding water resistance to your devices. So I'll leave you with a quick rundown of the internal specifications of the Samsung Galaxy A8 Plus. So next up, we'll be talking about the video and cameras on the Samsung Galaxy A8 Plus. And there is none other but Fisayo Fosudo to talk about this. So I'll leave it up to you, Fisayo. 
Hey, what's up guys? It's Fisayo here and thanks Herenio for that intro. The display on the A8 Plus is actually good and coming from a device like the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 and using it as a benchmark here, the display is almost not comparable for the most part. Viewing angles are crisp and sharp as well but it's not close to the Note 8 at all. In fact, the PPI is 441 for the A8 Plus while that of the Note 8 is at 521. The display is however a 1080p Super AMOLED which is very decent and you might not even be able to tell that much of a difference when you look at you know 1440p devices like the Note 8. The main camera is 16 megapixels and as far as I know the A8 Plus only shoots at 1080p with 30 frames per second while trying to maintain a decently saturated quality. It can zoom in up to 4 times and when that happens you begin to notice some noise in your video. Also, watching 1080p videos on YouTube was very decent as well. The only qualms I had was that I couldn't make it full screen, hence, you know, you get these black bars on the side. However, I'd definitely be missing out on some content if I do that, so maybe I'm wrong. I like that you can double tap the power button when you're in the luxury mode to get to the camera. And speaking of the camera, that's the next thing we're going to be looking at. The photos on this device are surprisingly not too saturated like some Samsung devices, and it's even more color accurate as well. The front camera is a dual 16 megapixel sensor both at 1.9 aperture and I must say that the selfies I took are very detailed. I'm somewhat of a fan of the skin tones on these newer Samsung devices and you might be able to tell why from these pictures. Also one thing I noticed about the camera is that you need to have steady hands to take the shots you want for the most part. But other than that the shots are very detailed and with enough light the clarity will be on point. Thanks Fisayo for handling everything on video and on the cameras for the Samsung Galaxy A8. Um, this is it. This is all you need to know about this device and I, I really enjoyed making this video. It was really a fun one doing this. I'll leave um, links to Fisayo's channel up here and also in the description section below. Guys, please hit the thumbs up button if you like this video and please subscribe to my channel as well. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.